Hi, here's how to print to three printers at once. So to do this I'm going to use a tool called Spool QVO++ and what I want to do is install a dummy printer driver which I print to then redirect the print to three printers to get three copies of the print, one after the other. So to do this you first need to install a dummy printer driver preferably the same driver as what you printed to at the end. So in this case I have a Lexmark printer so I can install a dummy printer. This is a printer driver without actually a printer attached. So to do this in Windows 10 click add a printer or scanner and then click on the printer wasn't listed. Click on add local printer and then pick what printer you want to print to. Use existing and then I'm going to call it dummy printer. So that's quick and easy to do. Next, let's set as default for this, it doesn't really matter. So now when I go into Spooky View Plus Plus, click refresh, it shows the dummy printer there. So I need to set this up now, so when I print to it, it prints to these three printers below. So right mouse on it, redirect all prints to. Hold down the control key, select the ones that you want. Click OK. So that's now set up, you can see that it's set up to print to all these three printers. And the actual dummy printer now is paused because that's not an actual print, it's just a driver. So now if I right mouse on that and select test print, what will happen is it will print to that printer there, then it will redirect the print job to those printers there, one, two or three. So if I double click on the printer one, for example, I can see that is print job nine, that's printed there. If I double click on it, it will actually generate a PDF of what it's actually outputting. So you can see that it's worked correctly. And if I click on the next printer down, you can do the same again. So you've got three copies of the same print. Obviously because in this case, the final printer is not actually connected so it's not actually going to print. You can test it by just pausing all three then you can actually look at the print before it actually prints out on the printer. When the printer is attached and it's enabled then it should print actually on the printer all three and it's that simple to set up. So for troubleshooting, say for some reason it didn't print it out. So what you can do to check this is one little check. You can look at your print jobs in the uh, C Windows System32 spool. And you need to make sure that they don't have FP before. That means it's not using file pooling. So otherwise it won't be able to redirect the correct print job. There's a way around it. If you go into help, HTML help, and if you go into the frequent asked questions, it shows you in there how to disable file pooling for those printers. So you need to make sure that the file pooling is disabled for the dummy printer. That's the main thing. And it should be that simple. So I can send another test file. So you can see it's in the SPL file there and it ends up with the print on here and it is that simple to do if for some reason one print gets there before the other so if you want them in a certain order what you can do you can go into setup options and you can add a slight delay to redirection and this does it between each printer to make sure that you get it in order so we're going to set to one for example Go on the dummy printer, right mouse, test print. You can see that it's going through each one slowly now. Exactly what I want. And that's it. Give it a try.